Thanks for joining us for these encouraging words together. This is our chance, wherever we are, to pause, to just take a little bit of a time out from whatever's happening around us, to turn our hearts over to the Lord, to focus on his word, to meditate on what it means for us today, to offer him our own uh, burdens in prayer and to seek his presence. And as we do, every time we come before the Lord, we can find strength and hope and a sense of new life. Today's a great day to do that. Thanks for tuning in with us for this moment. Our scripture verse comes to us from Isaiah chapter 40 and verse 8. And right here at the beginning of the video, I'm going to read it off to us. The prophet writes, The grass withers and the flowers fall, but the word of God endures forever. As I record this, we are in the season of fall. And uh, everything's changing all around us. The leaves are turning, brilliant colors. But as these November winds kick in, they start to fall off the tree. The trees become a little more bare. In fact, um, I've got some yard work that needs to happen. We have a whole line of oak trees behind our house. And that, uh, if I don't keep up, those leaves will just fill up that entire yard. And so all of that takes a, a little bit of time. But we see uh, in the in the just the changing of the leaves and all of that, we realize that the things of this world are temporal. They do not last. They'll renew in the spring again, and I'm grateful for that, but, uh, but the leaves don't last forever. And this is true across a myriad of things, like buildings and structures. For instance, a few weeks ago, I'm, I'm pulling out of my garage, and as I look up at the soffits along the, the front uh, facing of my garage there, on the right-hand side where the gutter connects, I can see that that soffit started to rot away a little bit. That uh, water apparently has built up, spilled over, done that a number of times, that it's eaten away at the wood. That soffit's not going to last forever. It needs to be replaced. Come spring, I'll find a way to, to get that done. But the things of this world only last for a season. That's even true with our lives, right? Uh, however long God gives us on the earth, we have the opportunity of making the most of that time. But none of us will live forever. We're not meant to. By design, we are finite. It's why we need an infinite God who to love us and carry us all the way home to eternity. But the scripture that we just read reminds us that there is something that does last forever, and that's God's word. It does not fail. It does not falter. You know, at the very beginning of time, God said, let there be light, according to Genesis chapter 1, and light happened just like that. In his word, there was creative power to cause whatever he said to come about. It's fascinating, yeah, this whole principle of let there be and there was. You know, scientists will tell you today that the universe continues to expand. It's ever expanding. I kind of wonder if it's because when God said let there be, as he made everything there is, that that creative force is still generating and still causing expansion all around us. Something interesting to think about, isn't it? The point is, the things of this world do not last. But God's word remains eternal. That means that he's faithful to his promises. That means we can count on him. No matter what hardship or difficulty we might face, we can find in the Lord strength because he never falters. He never fails. In his word, his promises given to folks so long ago in the Old Testament and even in the New Testament to some 2,000 years ago still ring true today, still produce change on the inside of us when we need hope, when we need help, when we need love, when we need encouragement, when we need courage, when we need peace, and on and on and on. His word still speaks, and as we put our trust in him, as we choose to walk in faith, living in accordance with his word, we can know that his promises will come about. His word gives strength to us, even today. Where do you need strength? In the areas of life that fail and falter, in the areas of life that wear out with the passage of time, we can turn to the one who, who is always there to sustain us no matter what. Let's turn to him now. Let's put our hope in him today. He wants to give us strength through his eternal word that never ceases. 
Let's pray. Heavenly Father, we reach out to you in faith today. We believe the scripture as we read it. Lord, it's obvious to us that the things of this world do not last. They are temporal. But your word springs eternal. In you there is always life. In you there is comfort. In you there is hope. In you, Lord, there is a strength to be found. And we ask that your word would come alive on the inside of us even right now. Lord, I particularly pay, uh, I, I'm sorry, I particularly pray for all of those who are tuning in into this moment that hear these words. Wherever there's despair, bring hope. Wherever there's weakness, bring strength and help and assistance. And let your hope arise in every single heart. Thank you, Lord, for hearing our prayer. In Christ's name we pray. Amen. Even words falter, right? Earthly words. I kind of stumbled through that prayer a little bit. His word never falters. You can always trust him. Thanks for tuning in today. It's my hope that this thought from the scripture would give you some encouragement and strength even right now. Here at Friendship Village, we work hard to bring these videos to you brand new at 4.30 in the afternoon. We do that every day, Monday through Friday. They repeat at 8 o'clock at night and then 8 o'clock the following morning. If you're watching online on YouTube, thanks for joining in. Be sure to hit the subscribe button, which looks like my face, or click on this box below to, hear, uh, to see any of those in our history. God bless you. Have a great day in the Lord, and we will see you next time.